what's up everybody got another actually couple shoe reviews got an unboxing got a few little things in this video that i'm just gonna pack all in one video but if you're not subscribed to the channel please drop a sub like comment hit that notification bell all good stuff um just want to say thank you to all my subscribers been gradually you know get more and more like i said once we get 600 subscribers we're gonna do a supreme giveaway so uh stay tuned for that like I said, try to share whatever you can so we can reach that 600 subscribers so we can hurry up and do that giveaway. But uh, let's jump into the unboxing and then I'll get into the reviews. Um, <clears throat> this is uh, from Supreme. Uh, it was just one item. I went for one other item that went with this first, but I couldn't hit on it. Basically, you know, if he's going to manual, you wasn't hitting on that. So, uh, but I was lucky enough to get one other thing which uh i think was just a cool little pickup anyway uh i think that um of course we got our box logo stickers like especially with baseball being in season right now i could see people wearing these uh either practicing baseball or something like that but you got the uh, supreme nike we got the red long socks um like i said pretty cool um, these was made so that <clears throat> when you wore the Nike Supreme, I think it was Air Max or something like that, they had little slits in them to where you could see inside the shoe. And it's made to show off the, you know, like to see Supreme inside your shoe was to wear these socks. So you had to have the socks and the shoes to be able to see Supreme inside the shoe. But I hit on the socks. Um, these are men's 10 to size 11 and a half. So those are up for grabs. It actually wasn't too cheap. So, uh, but they look like an actual good made sock. So, you know, it is what it is. I thought it was cool, so I grabbed it. Um, there wasn't much else other than them shoes worth grabbing. So I didn't even go for nothing this week. So if that tells you anything, they need to pick it up. Um, this shoe right here was a shoe I hit on the sneakers app. Um, as you can tell, they just still at paper, but uh, like I said, this is one of them shoes that right now it's not going for a crap ton, but it will. It will. You can look at, it was part of three shoes. The highs were, this is the lows, but these, the Concords, the Breads, and the Legend Blues, but in the highs was the first three Jordan 11s to release. And they've released a low top in the Concords, the Breads, and as y'all seen in my, one of my last videos, the Legend Blues. This is my personal size. This size, or this pair, will be going home with me. So, uh, I think I've got another 11. Yeah, I did hit on a couple of extra pairs of 11s. I uh, can't remember if we did a video on that or not. But, um, yeah, I ended up hitting two grade school size fives, a ten and a half, uh, and then two more size 11s, and then this size 11s. So I got two size 11s and three size 11s, I think, and a ten and a half, something like that. I can't remember. But I got a few pair of these now, and uh, not really worried about trying to move these right away. Like, these are going to be kind of a little bit of a long hold but it's gonna be a good one. So uh, if you hit on these, uh, sit on them, do whatever, but these are gonna go up. Don't worry about them not, or don't worry about them dropping cause they're not gonna really drop any more than what they are right now. They're just gonna do nothing but go up cause it's just a classic colorway. Um, so done with that shoe. Now we're gonna jump into some reviews. All right, I'm gonna I'm going to save the best for last, in my opinion. Uh, which, don't get me wrong, this next shoe is, you know, no crappy one. Ooh, keep dropping this vape. I'm going to have to replace it. Uh, I got this pair for my boss. I hit on his size. Uh, he wasn't able to hit, so. Um, we got a uh, Jordan, like, 6 or 7 through... 11 box or whatever, you know, like those 11 lows, they just came in a box like this. Um, this is part of the upper uh, Jordans 
boxes or whatever. Now, I think some nines or something I had come in a different box. I don't know. It's just one of the boxes that they use on some of the other ones. Uh, got that trash bag paper. And this shoe's going to be it's kind of a classic colorway. Like they did. It ain't wasn't like an OG colorway OG, but the Flint 7s, uh, a nice shoe. I mean, it's got that booty backstroke suede on the toe box around here, around here, and some pretty decent white leather everywhere else. Uh, I really like the shoe a lot better in hand. I'm surprised that the, the hop for these wasn't up as much, but then again, I kind of see why it's a Jordan 7. And people just don't respect you know, Jordan 6s, Jordan 7s, Jordan 8s, Jordan 9s, Jordan 10s, as much as they do, let's say, a Jordan 1, a Jordan 3, a Jordan 4, even a Jordan 5, or a Jordan 11, or, you know, the 12s, they get a little bit more love than, like, Jordan 7s, but Jordan 7s are actually a nice shoe. Um, one thing I like about Jordan 7s is you got this whole, like, sock liner thing in here, and, uh, just you, when you put them on you actually feel like a little bit of support around your feet that's one thing i like about them uh, and then they got that little you know hole in them right there so it allows a little bit of air to get in there on your feet keep your feet cool while you're on the court but just a good basketball shoe like i said we got that flint gray all the way around here 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 and here and then on the midsole right here and here then on the bottom, we got that flint gray, some purple, a little bit of white here, here, black, purple, white. Um, on the back, we got the same three colors. On the tongue, we got the same three colors. And uh, yeah, the flint sevens. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna keep this video rolling. Um, now this next shoe is one of my personal pairs. But I didn't plan on getting this shoe. Like, it was, uh, it was a surprise. Um, I had ran across this shoe on StockX and noticed that they wasn't going, like, crazy high right away. Um, I sent my boss a link, and I was like, dude, check this out. Like, these ain't going for, you know, nothing crazy. You know, there's, you're going for more, more than retail. But compared to others... They wasn't going that crazy. And for the shoe, I really think the shoe looks cool. But he ended up ordering a pair. Ordering my size. I didn't even know. Like, he had mentioned something about ordering it. But they came in. And he's like, give me my paycheck that day. And he's like, here, check these out. And hands me this box. And I was like, oh, you got those dunks in. He's like, yes, yeah. so I'm pulling them out. Checking them out. And he's like, they're yours. And he's like, they're your size and everything. I was like, heck yeah. So what we got, before we open it up, is a pair of Nike Dunks. We got Tag Reads Nike Dunk High Barley Green Slash Black, size 11, USD 110. So I opened it up, we got this kind of silver paper. Followed by some tissue paper. Here's the shoe. But, well, excuse me, I had a hiccup, burp, something all at the same time. We got the Nike Dunk High All Stars. You can see this little hologram emblem back here. It's got the NBA symbol, little collab that they did with the Dunk Nike Dunks and everything. But I, I like this shoe. Like it's, it's, it's it pops but it's subtle at the same time like you know with this whole green it looks like it's got a lot going on but when you look at it from a distance it don't it don't look as crazy i don't know how to explain it but i, I like the shoe i like the shoe um when you look at it from a distance you just see kind of black patent leather and this like mint green or like a sea foam green let's get this back chopping my head off but you get this seafoam green color but you got this seafoam green leather here here and here and then the laces but then on this black if you look at it carefully it looks kind of like wood grain or something like that all the way around and it's got like some metallic flake in it too um 
I just really, really like that. I think it'd be dope if they released a pair of Jordan 11s, like Concord color, you know, the, the white, and then done this for the black patent leather. I think that'd be pretty dope. Just saying. But um, like I said, you got that patent leather wrapped around everywhere. And then, you, like I said, you got the NBA hologram there, or whatever you want to call it, reflective thing. <laughs> the inside is all black other than your laces um got the little nike tag on the tongue and then you just got this kind of white midsole along with the black bottom sole that's about it i can't remember if they came with the extra pair of shoe laces or not I'm not seeing a pair so i guess those shoe laces are the the only ones they come with but uh yeah i really like this shoe and it was a surprise like that my boss surprised them with me so I don't plan on getting rid of this pair. Uh, I don't, I, the dunks that I keep, I like when it comes to dunks, them being just kind of plow in your face, you know, uh, you know, just crazy, you know, and these are a little crazy, you know, I got them, I kept the veneers and then I've also got the uh, blue furies. So like, I like my dunks to be kind of, you know, not just plain Jane, you feel me? But uh, if you don't make it this far in the video, please drop a sub, like, comment, hit that notification bell, all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, that's just how I feel about my dunks. But I don't have a lot of pairs. I've only got like four pairs total, and I've got one pair, one of those four pairs here on the shelf, and it was actually the ones I designed. But um, I don't know. I'm not going to wear them, so I'm going to pass them up, allow somebody else to have access to get them. So. Um, I guess that's going to about wrap this video up. Ho hope y'all enjoyed it. Keep your fingers crossed for the Shadow 2.0s. If you haven't done entered like the Flex app, you better hurry up and jump on it. Um, and then, like I said, go on the Sneakers app. Um, and what I would do on the Sneakers app is you got, if as long as they're doing the draw, go ahead and get in queue somewhere else. And then, like, get in queue somewhere else, try to get in some site, and hurry up and hit on a pair. And then once it gets close to 10 minutes, you better jump into the sneakers app, hurry up and enter your draw, and boom. But what I like to do is, is I like to try to enter the, the sneakers app draw within five to six minutes of it being done. I feel like if you jump into it right away, sometimes it detects you as a bot. So, you know, if you can just jump into it about five, six, seven minutes into it, it's gonna, you know, and actually show a little bit of activity before that, like maybe click on a video or something like that, then I feel like it's gonna better your odds of hitting because it's gonna detect you as being uh, kind of active like a normal person would on an account. But uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, let's hurry up and get that 600 subscribers so I can hurry up and do this giveaway, and then we can try to, you know, get to 1,000 and give away a pair of shoes. So, hope you enjoyed it. Much love and peace out.